artificial intelligence has seen explosive growth with language models such as ChatGPT and Google Bard recently, but we're also seeing some really cool practical applications of AI in consumer devices. Within the past couple of years, we've seen massive growth in so-called smart bird feeders that can capture, identify, and catalog all your avian visitors. The basic concept is simple enough. You put a motion sensing camera at the back of a feeder to get some really fun selfie style photos and videos. However, the major brands in this space have been competing for advantages in looks, function, ease of use, and the all important underlying artificial intelligence. This is a rapidly growing niche with constant improvements, and we're going to tell you about our top picks based on overall design elements, software features, and ability to identify different species among the competition. The included apps can really heighten the experience with the ability to see other people's feeder streams and share your own highlights with the community or family and friends. So please like and subscribe and we'll jump right into it with the best AI bird feeders on the market. Solium is a company that specializes in solar-powered security cameras. It made sense for them to venture into this new niche where they can leverage their existing outdoor camera technology. The BF-08 is their flagship model among this new lineup. Of course, the Solium feeder comes with a solar panel that is separate from the feeder and actually quite large compared to the other built-in panels we've seen. Since it's separate from the feeder, you can also angle it how you like to capture the most sun possible. This could be a big advantage if you never want to worry about charging your smart feeder. Another unique feature that Solium brings is an emphasis on night vision. In other models, we've certainly seen a loss in quality of images around dusk, and this is not an issue for Solium. This is where they really shine as a security camera company that branched into the smart feeder industry, and it could be the deciding factor for some customers. Solium's AI is on par with the rest of the market, and they claim to identify over 11,000 species. However, currently the community features of the app fall a little short compared to BirdBuddy or NetView. Lastly, while most of the feeders on this list are primarily made of heavy-duty plastics, this Solium feeder has a metal frame. So depending on personal preference, that could be a really nice aesthetic bonus for this model. NetView has a really nice complete package for a really reasonable price. Often found on sale, this feeder can be well under $200 and significantly less expensive than comparable options. It has all the basic components of other models we've seen so far, although it does not come standard with a solar panel. So unless you buy the separate attachment, you'll need to regularly charge this unit. This camera does have night vision, so you'll still be able to capture great shots at dusk and even nocturnal visitors. Also, since it's activated based on motion and you can control the sensitivity, some people say they get double use out of these as a security camera. There's nothing too fancy with this one. It's a really great basic package if you don't need some of the fancier features. Now, NetView does offer a significant upgrade with their bamboo model. This looks completely unique from the designs of the other smart feeders we've seen. It's got a great premium feel with the natural bamboo material and some parts having carbon fiber reinforcement. Interestingly, this model has two seat chambers so that you can attract multiple species of birds with different preferences. For pesky squirrels, there's a funny feature that allows you to emit an alert sound to scare them away. And there's also an option to add an attachable solar panel if you don't want to worry about charging all the time. BirdBuddy has become one of the most recognizable names in this arena, and for good reason. They were one of the original products to offer the smart feeder design, and they've built up a passionate community that leads to better AI recognition and fun sharing experiences in the app. In their latest model, you can really tell the design has been well thought out and planned through much experience. The roof has a solar panel directly incorporated, so you won't be taking the camera out to charge often, if at all, depending on the sun exposure where you are. While it's not completely free-moving like Solium's panel, it does allow you to rotate at 180 degrees to maximize sunlight. And if you ever do need to charge, the camera unit itself is easily removable thanks to its magnetic attachment. The included camera is high def but lacks the night vision seen in other models. And instead of relying on motion alone to record birds, it also uses AI so it won't record people walking around the backyard, for example. One of the best parts of going with a bird buddy feeder is the active team and community. And this is what sets this brand apart. If you check on their social media, this team is quite active and engages with their customers quite often. They also often make app updates based on feedback, and it really shines in the polished user experience you get. With their large network of feeders, you have the option to view other people's streams in BirdBuddy TV if they've allowed their feeder to be shared with the public. 
It can be really fun to look at birds from around the world within this app, and it's a great feature unique to the Bird Buddy community. This last option is in a bit of a category of its own. The Wasserstein Bird Feeder Camera Case is a stylish looking feeder that has a slot to attach your own camera. It supports common wireless security camera brands such as Blink, Wise, and Ring. So if you happen to have a spare camera laying around, this would be a great way to save money. Alternatively, you could splurge on a really high performance camera to get the best possible picture quality. Of course, the downside is that unless you're able to figure out how to sync your own device with some sort of bird identification software, you're going to be lacking that ability. Overall, it's going to provide much more of a DIY experience than the other complete packages. Now, with any of these options, you really can't go wrong, we promise. You're going to have a great time capturing all the feathered friends in your neighborhood and learning more about new species. Whether you're an experienced birder or a brand new to the hobby, these new devices are a great time and really great application of artificial intelligence into a practical consumer product.